Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna do my best to give you my review of the Sense Solar energy monitoring system. Now, if you follow my channel, you know that I have kind of a crazy system. It has a hybrid inverter. We've been mostly off grid, but I do have a switch I can flip to put us on grid. And I haven't officially announced this yet, but we finally got approved for the interconnect agreement. So we now are also connected to the grid at all times. But back to the sense, I really wanted some kind of remote energy monitoring because with my Princeton power inverter, I have nothing. Aside from looking at the display on the actual unit, I can't tell from inside the house, let alone from across the state, what my whole system is doing. So I just really wanted some more data and I was hoping this was gonna give it to me. Unfortunately, it's really not working out for me and I'm going to be returning it. But before I do, I wanted to kind of go over things and show you why I'm returning it and how it kind of worked for me and my system. So I'll flip the camera around and go over a few things with you guys. First off, there's the packaging. I don't believe in unboxing videos. I think it's kind of dumb. I really don't care about packaging at all as long as it works and does what I want. It could arrive at a paper bag. I don't care. But here is the rest of my system that I definitely should cover before I give you guys my review of the Sense Solar. So in the right panel here, this one has the wires coming in from the road, and this has just a few of my main sources. Uh, one being the whole house air conditioning system. I Oh, and speaking of which, if you see this wire dangling here, it's uh, just me toying around trying to figure out if I can run the whole house air conditioner off the grid. I can but it's difficult. But anyways, I'll leave that for another time. Uh, so yeah, this is the whole house air conditioning system. This is my electric car charger, and this is the output from my inverter to the grid to feed the grid with solar power. This panel here, as you can probably guess, has all of my loads. This line right here, which is also coming from the inverter, was feeding all of my loads. My inverter would send power through those cables and energize all these circuit breakers and power the entire house. And then in this panel right here, this is a combiner panel because I always thought that I might add a second inverter just for some more power. So the outputs from both inverters, which are right outside, would come into here, join together, and those come to this circuit breaker right here. So as you can already see, I have a few inputs and I really wasn't sure where to put these little clamps. And then even once you figure out where to put them, they can go in two different directions. Now with the Sense Solar, it does have a solar clip here, and then it has the main clip here. So I started off with having these main up here for the main coming into the house. Now obviously there aren't too many circuit breakers there, and I really rarely use the on-grid charger, so there really wasn't anything here. So I never saw anything. At that same time, I had the solar clamps, which are now here, on these wires, because this is coming from the solar inverter. I thought, makes sense to have those solar clamps on this, feeding this grid. But that also did not work at all. Uh, I actually forget even if I was getting any numbers from it at all. So then I removed the solar clamps altogether, and I put the main clamps, which are these right here, on this. If you can see the arrow right there, that shows current. So it's gonna be flowing from the inverter through the loop. And you can see then the arrow, if you can see it, the arrow is now going down. So these are in the right direction for current to flow from my inverter to my panel here. That started working. However, if my inverter was using battery power and not solar power to energize these loads, it would register nothing or it would fluctuate a ton. I couldn't figure it out. I really don't know why it's AC power. This is the AC line coming out of the inverter going in here, feeding all of my loads. No idea. I just couldn't figure it out. It was jumping all over the place. I wish I could show you guys exactly how it was working. Let's see if I can log in. Uh, right now, this is actually acting the most normal it ever has. So we'll take a brief break and I'll show you this. So solar is supposedly generating 2,100 watts. 1,200 of that is going to the grid. 894 is going through this wire right here into the house. 
But the one thing that this thing will never be able to do because it does have the sensors for it is that it can't detect how much is going into my batteries. So it looks like I have a 2.1 kilowatt system when in actuality, even though it is cloudy, I probably have three, four kilowatts going into the battery that this thing cannot detect. So anyways, little little diversion there. But when I am using battery power to power my loads, say it's nighttime or it's just dark, this meter right here, which is their main home screen, would just jump all around. Let's see if I can go back actually. A lot of similar sine waves. I guess you can kind of, maybe kind of like that. It just doesn't report correctly when there's no sun and no solar. So I did send a video of something like this to the guys over at Sense, and he insisted that I have this connected to a DC source. I must be measuring a DC source. And I said, I'm not, I'm not measuring a DC source. I'm no professional, but I know the difference between AC and DC, and I am definitely clamped on to, to AC power. No, it's definitely got, you gotta be on DC. There's no way that that could exist without being on DC. So they were totally zero help. Refused to even admit that the unit might not be reporting things correctly. However, when the sun is out, conditions are perfect. I'm generating a bunch of power. It does report nicely. So it will show when I'm sending power to the grid via these clamps here. It took a little while for me to figure out which wires to use, but when it is sunny, these clamps will report power going to the grid when I'm sending power to the grid. Another little difference with my kind of crazy system is that I have total control of where and when I send power and how much power I want to send. So I could keep all the power to myself with this inverter and not send any to the grid, which this system doesn't seem to like and doesn't really monitor accurately at all. But if I'm dumping nine, 10 kilowatts to the grid, then it seems to recognize it and does okay. But one weird little thing, the flow of this electricity is coming through this wire up here through the breaker and to the grid wires right there. So they say this arrow, which maybe you could see it right there, is supposed to indicate the flow of electricity. So with this arrow, it's saying electricity is flowing this way, so in reverse to the inverter, which is not true. And if I reverse these, it shows me negative numbers for my solar production in the app. So I don't know, I am not sold on this thing. This was almost $400. If it was half that price, Maybe I would keep it around just for the reporting and the ideal conditions when it's super sunny so I can remotely see that I'm sending nine kilowatts to the grid. But for $400, I'll have a link below if you want to check it out. But for that kind of money, I really can't recommend this. And again, I know my system is a little unique. <laughs> it's a little special, but I'd also have to connect to two different sets of wires in two different boxes. Uh, so I'd have to wire that up, get some grommets. And this was the only way that I could find that would work in any legible fashion. Just out of curiosity, we could see what it's doing right now. The dehumidifier keeps popping up. Originally it said it was an air conditioner. So it looks like my house is using 886 watts. That's another thing, you zoom out, maybe you like the way this looks better, and it always reverts back to the, the zoomed in clustered bubble yeah so i'm also sending 2.1 kilowatts to the grid which that's cool uh it's just like i said it's cloudy right now but i also probably have power going to the batteries that this thing cannot monitor uh if i double tap on solar i this is my favorite screen right here this is the one that i prefer so it clearly shows the arrows, which is really nice. And if something switches, it will show power going from the grid to your home. So that's pretty nice. It reminds me of the Tesla Powerwall setup. They might've kind of copied that idea. This just doesn't seem like it really does much. I mean, none of this really seems to be too accurate. Okay, it's showing a couple things that have turned on, but that's another thing actually. And having this for three, three and a half weeks, 
it's registered, I think, three items. So in my entire house, it has only detected three different products. And this is supposed to have like machine learning to detect like what kind of device it is. It hasn't really worked out for me at all. We have a very typical four bedroom house with very typical stuff in it and it's detected three things. But if you had just a typical grid fed solar system, I think what you probably would want to do is have these clamps right here up on top with your main feed coming in and you would want the arrows, I'm assuming just like this from the grid. So it's showing power from the grid going through here into the house. And then you would want these on your AC lines coming from your inverter, from your solar inverter. But it seems like those are reversed. So you'll have to try it, maybe let me know. But the only way to show that I was feeding power to the grid was to have these reversed. Uh, so yeah, give that a try. I don't know, I'm not sold. That's why I'm returning, getting my $400 back. Maybe in the future, if they improve it, I'd be more interested in trying it again. But that's been my experience with the Sense Solar. Well, there you have it. Not one of my greatest videos. Not that any of them are really that good anyway. But I just thought I'd let you guys know that if you're thinking about trying this thing, it's gonna take some trial and error. It's really not that hard to install. As long as you're not afraid of the electricity, just make sure you don't touch anything like silver. <laughs> you definitely want to be careful, but it's just a clamp. You put around a wire and you put the cover back on. It's really not too hard. The polarity of the CT clamps, the, the current, uh, the white clamps that are back there is confusing to me. I'm not sure why that would need to be reversed. I did some Googling and some other people had to do the same thing. So you'll just have to try it at your house and, and see. I'm sure a lot of people don't have as complex of a system that I have, so it might work a little bit easier for you. But that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.